What's up guys, Itchy here, and it's time for more Hero Runs. Today I have subscriber 22 saying 22 with me. Uh, he was gracious enough to lend me his Pixie King Lior. First time ever using Pixie King Lior, and I just thought it was kind of interesting to have two sexually ambiguous characters in the same video. Why not? Because no one knows what Atro is, even though I have a theory that I at the end of this video, if I remember. And yeah, let's get to it. So, interesting using Lior. I like that he attacks a little faster, so it's easier to kind of gauge where his spark is. Um, the only problem is uh, his damage isn't completely there, but it's still enough that it's definitely beneficial. And I'm only running the first stage, so it's not like I need to worry about that too much. So, I did already do one round of Atro just to try it out. Uh, did not work out so well. And trust me, I have taken all of you along. If you're wondering why you haven't made it into the video yet, it's because I actually have tried and just had no success whatsoever. So um, trust me, you were in a video at one point if you're wondering where you're at, and I will get you in one eventually. Um, I will be doing also, like I said, zebra runs and everything like that, and I will be posting them even if I don't make it just because I'm going to be using different squads every time. So anyway, let's get this going. I have not used uh, Lior's Brave Burst yet, so I'm not sure how fast it attacks. I'm going to kind of throw it in the middle here, see how that does. Not bad. Okay. And we took him down to almost half. Why did Edia's Brave Burst not go off? I hate when that happens. Sometimes I'll mean to flick and it just hits instead. But that's okay. I'm not exactly worried, it's not like she's doing a lot of damage. And as you can see, my buddy is wondering what's going on with certain things, and I do not have a second to answer him. We'll get to it, though. So, decent spark there. Um, I think we found a good niche for Lior, as far as where we want to hit with him. See if I can get a decent spark here. I'm trying different combinations just to see what it looks like. Uh, looks like I can't throw. Her spark or her uh, attack takes too long to come through, so we'll try that again. I really do dig doing these uh, early runs. Uh, makes it much much easier uh, than having to worry about loading up on items every time, everything like that. So cross your fingers. Let's hope we get her, him, her, it. Boom! Cap! Alright. Well, 22 saying 22. Thank you very much for coming along. You were the magic key. So like I said, I'm going to show you guys uh, exactly how you can tell whether they're boys or girls, as le at least as far as in-game goes. Uh, but let's first see what kind of uh, atro we got here, since this is my first atro. By the way, if you're wondering, um, I definitely with me for my Magris, Magris runs. I must have done Magris 11 times today. Wasted way too many times doing the higher up one, um, the 30 energy one, so that was a waste. But anyway, let's see what we got here. Anima, awesome. I'll take it. Stats look even at two stars. I um, haven't really looked at the stats yet, so I don't know where I'm going to put Atro or what I'm going to do with Atro, but awesome to have another starter. So, if you're wondering how you can tell if they're a boy or a girl, I will show you if it ever goes back. There we go. So if you go here to Menu, and you go to Uniguide, bring up Atro here. So, Squire Atro. Right now, I'm gonna say it's a boy. Why? Because if you look down where it says Squire Atro, it, there's a little dot right next to the name where it actually has a blue person. So, that... Interesting. I always thought that he was a she, but I guess not. 
Uh, let's see here. And then, as you can see here, Selena, obviously a girl. Uh, you wonder where it has her name. If you look at the bottom right, it actually has a pink denotation, so you can tell that it is a girl. And then, just for reference, we'll just show Vargas, because you know it's a boy. Boom, blue, right there. So yeah, if you were wondering how to tell if they're boy or girl, that's how you tell. And you can even check like the little mossies here. Um, they have a little, uh, I guess, I don't even know what that is, a yellow dot. <laughs> I guess that just means they're genderless. But anyway, yeah, if you were wondering, there you go. So anyway, that does it for this video. Um, if you want to come along with me for more hero runs or more quests and stuff like that, make sure that you uh, subscribe and leave your... ID number down in the comment section. I will be getting to everyone, I promise. The thing is, uh, it's really a pain because when I don't capture or I need to make a second video or I need to refilm something because something happened, uh, I have to go through all of those friends again and I need to have to keep closing out of the game, coming back into the game until one of my subscribers shows up in my friends list. So, huge, huge pain. So, the more, the merrier. That way I can have more access to people and I can bring you along no matter what. So yeah, that pretty much does it for this video, guys. Take it easy.